Hello everyone. Today, in this video, we are going to see how to, how to perform a Mann-Whitney U test. Here, there is a word of caution here. So for example, Wilcoxon rank some test. This Mann-Whitney is also called as Wilcoxon rank some test. Sometimes we'll be having another test, which is called Wilcoxon signed rank test, okay? So whenever we have a word called signed, you should be very, very careful, okay? So that is not man Whitney. So most of the people will be uh, getting confused with this Wilcoxon rank some test and Wilcoxon signed rank some test. Sometimes they will write it as Wilcoxon signed rank test. Sometimes they will write it as Wilcoxon signed rank some test also. So whenever there is a word uh, signed is there, this is not man Whitney, you should keep it in mind. So today we are going to see how to perform this man Whitney U test. What for it is used, then how we are going to use it with an example. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do it. If you like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel. So we'll quickly move on uh, to this video, how uh, we can perform this, okay? So what is a man Whitney U test? So first of all, we should uh, understand what is it? So what is the other name for this, okay? So this is also called as Wilcoxon rank sum test, okay? That is another name. So what do we do here in this test? Where uh, we are using it, why we are using it? So here, see, uh, there are two samples, for example, sample one I am having, sample two I am having, so I want to check whether it is coming from only one population directly, okay? So then their means will be equal. So this is what I'm going to check it, okay? Just like a t-test, okay? Independent t-test. So what is the difference between this and the independent t-test is, independent two-sample t-test is used for the parametric uh, uh, test. It's a parametric test. This one is a non-parametric test whenever that distribution is not following the normal distribution, we are using man Whitney U test. Uh, so that's what is the difference between these two. So what is the second thing here? We want to compare two independent samples when the outcomes are not normally distributed. Whenever, see, so for example, this there is a sample like this, the mean is like this. Another sample I'm having, the mean is like this, okay? So these are all the two uh, so different samples. Uh, they are not normally distributed. So in that case, I'm using this uh, man Whitney U test. Then uh, it, is, it is nothing but a non-parametric counterpart of independent sample t-test, okay? So now when it's a parametric uh, test, then I'll use sample t-test to independent two sample t-test. Here, this is the non-parametric counterpart, okay? The next one, uh, see, it is used to compare the two sample means are equal or not. As here, only we are comparing the means and we are finding out whether they are equal or not. Okay, so now it is used when the assumptions of the t-test are not met. See, whenever we are uh, having an assumption for t-test, if it is not met, then I can straight away come and use this man Whitney u-test. Okay, these are all the situations where we can use man Whitney u-test. Okay. So what is the formula for this? It, is, it has got a very simple formula only. Here we'll be having two formulas uh, and we will be taking only one for the calculation. See, the test statistics is denoted by U, okay? So the test statistics, I, I am denoting it by U for Man Whitney, which is the smallest of U1 and U2. Here, I'm finding out the value of U1, for example, three. U2, I'm finding out, which is five, then which is the smaller one? U1 is the smaller one, I'm taking it. So when U1 is equal to seven, U2 is equal to five, then I'll take the smallest value as U, okay? So I will find out U1 and U2, I am taking the smallest value and I will denote it by U calculated value. So just like the other uh, value, other uh, uh, sums we have done it. So if you have uh, not, uh, familiar with, uh, with this type of calculations. We have done so many videos in this. How, what is this U calculated value? What is U uh, critical value and all? You can visit our channel to start studying that, okay? So now, what is this U1? I'm going to tell you. So now U1 is the formula N1, N2. 
and n1, n1 plus 1 divided by 2 and r1, here only one point you have to remember, this is nothing but the sum of ranks, okay, sum of ranks of group 1, that's what you have to remember, I have not given a sigma, okay, I have not given a sigma um, notation here, so blindly you can remember r1 is nothing but the sum of rank of group 1, okay, so similarly I am going to have this uh, U2 also, N1, N2, I'm going to tell what is this N1, N2 and all. Okay, so this is the formula for U2. What is this N1 and N2 or the number of items in each group? See, for example, group one is five and group two is having uh, five members. Then N1 is five and N2 is five. That's what you have to remember here. Then um, R1 is the sum of ranks of group one. Similarly, R2 is the sum of ranks of group two. Here, only one point, very, very important point you have to note down. Whenever we rank, we have to take it as a single group, not the two groups. That's what you have to remember. You have to take it as a single group and we are going to split the ranks. If you do not know how to calculate ranks for the given data, we have done how to rank the given data. One video we have done it. I'm going to give the um, link in the description box. You can visit and see that. And once again, you can come back to uh, see how to or rank the data here. So we'll quickly move on to an example uh, here. What is an example we are going to have? See, let us suppose that we want to investigate. I am a researcher. I am going to investigate the effective, effectiveness. So I want to find out whether the new drug is effective or not. So I want to find out the effectiveness of a new drug. A new drug is introduced to reduce the symptoms of asthma, for example. I've taken an example. So I want to find out whether this drug is effective or not. So usually what we will do is we will introduce something called a placebo here. Okay, we'll give it to some people and the drug to new people. So we are going to find out is there any difference here. So how we are going to do it here. So symptoms they are going to tabulate. So what they are, see they are given a random either a placebo or a new drug. So I have taken some 10, 10 uh, members. I have given uh, placebo for five people. I have given new drug for five people, okay? Placebo for five people, new drug for five people. Then I am asking them to record the number of episodes of shortness of breath, okay? Over a week. So over a week, how many times they have got the uh, shortness of uh, breath? They are going to write it. So three times in a week or four times in a week or per day like that, they are going to tabulate it. The data, sample data, I have taken it here. The sample data is being given, okay? Placebo, seven times, five times, six times, four times, two times, okay? They have given it as a table of all. Now, new drug has got this much. So how to go about this? So we are going to find out whether this new drug is effective or not. That's all I'm going to find it out here. So first of all, I have to frame the hypothesis in the answer, okay? So what will be the hypothesis for us? Here, I'm going to write two populations are equal. Otherwise, two samples are taken from a population so that uh, two samples are coming from the same population both ways you can take it for time being i'm taking two populations are equal then see mu1 and mu2 that is the population mean here therefore the new drug is not effective okay that is the meaning for this null hypothesis then i'm going to take the alternative hypothesis two populations are not equal therefore the placebo as well as the new drug will have the different means here Therefore, the new drug is effective, I am coming to a conclusion. So now, alpha is the level of significance, I am taking it as 0 0.05, okay? Right, so how to do this? So we are going to calculate U1 and U2 here. Now, in order to calculate the ranks, I have to take the combined group here. So how many ranks are there here? See, for example, see how many values are there? 10 values are there, so 10 ranks should be there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, whenever I, I put the rank, I'm going to score it out. This uh, exclusively, we have done it in one more video. Anyway, I'm going to show it once again. So I am going to take everything in a single group here. Okay, I'm taking it as a single group. So which is the smaller one here? I'm going to write, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ranks are there. now this is the first rank, okay? So now I'm taking from the smaller to bigger, okay? So keep it in mind, smaller to bigger only have 
taking. Okay, so now this is the first drag. This belongs to a new drug. Okay, this is the group two. Okay, so now I have to put this rank in the rank one here. Okay, similarly, two, rank two, it belongs to the group two. So rank two, then this belongs to rank three here. Okay, so now I have taken three ranks. I have I have done three ranks. I have completed three ranks here. One, two, three. Then, let's see. Go for here. The next value is four. Okay, so now smallest value is four. We have got four well four in two places. Okay, we have got four in two places. So therefore, my fourth rank as well as fifth rank, I am bringing it down here. So four plus five divided by two. So 4.5 will be the rank. So instead of this, I am having um, this is uh, this this also near this four. I'm going to write 4.5. Near this, I'm going to write 4.5. Okay. Similarly, I'm going to do for all the ranks. I'm going to complete it. Okay. So first, I'm going to say the first rank goes here. Second rank goes here. Third rank goes here. Now I have got four here. Four here. Now. 4 plus 5 divided by 2, that's 4.5 rank will come for this. Okay, this belongs to the second group, so 4.5. Here, this belongs to the, this group, so it's 4.5. I'm going to write it here, so I'll write that 4.5, 4.5. Okay, now I've taken fourth rank as well as fifth rank. What is the next rank available? One I have taken, two I have taken, three I have taken. Then sixth rank is available, so next biggest number is 5. So now I'm going to write the sixth rank for it. It is over. Now sixth. Now, now you go for it. Now the next two numbers. We are having six here. We are having six here. Then six ranks I have taken. Seven and eight I have to take. Seven plus eight divided by two. That gives you 7.5. So this here I'll got 7.5. This six I'll got 7.5. So that I can complete the rank here. Okay. Now the next, next is easy. Next bigger number is this one. The, bigger number is seven. So seven belongs to the group. So ninth rank is over. Then 12th is 10th rank. So I have ranked it already. So I'm going to add the ranks here. Okay. Now there's nothing but R1. Okay. So now I'll call it a sigma R1 or simply R1. I call it a sigma R2. That is first uh, this total. Okay. So now I have, I've totaled it already. So now this, I'll take it as R1. This I'll take it as R2. Then I'm going to calculate the value of U1 and U2. So U1 is this much. What does my N1? One, two, three, four, five. So I have got five here. Then N two is five. Here N one is five. N one plus one is five plus one. Then R one is thirty seven. This is what I'm going to write it in the next one. So five ways are twenty five. So now I'm going to calculate this using a calculator if possible. So I'm getting U one is equal to three. Similarly, I'm going to calculate for U two. This is five, this is five, this is five, this is uh, six divided by two, or two alone will change, this is 18. So when I when I do this, I am getting a value for U2, U2 as 22. So I told you my U calculated value, I told you, U calculated will you the minimum of these two, okay? U2, U, U1, so U1 is three, so therefore I'll take U as the minimum value, so U will be three for me. Okay, U will be three for me. Then I'm going to calculate the critical value from the table. I'm going to show the table how to find out the critical value also here. So my, say I've calculated now, the test statistics for U is three because I have taken the minimum. So I'll keep this as U calculated as three. I have finished. I'm going to calculate the critical value from the tabular column. So the critical value for you is from man Whitney tabular column. I'm going to find it out. I'm going to show how we are going to find out. This is a tabular column. My N1 value is five. My N2 value is five. So I'm going to check this. Okay, so now my N1, I'm going to show it in a different color so that you will understand. So, okay, so now my N1 value is this one. So I can call it as N1 here. Okay, right, right. My N2 value will be, uh, where is my N2 value? My N2 value will be here, okay? So now you can see this, this is the N2 value. So I'm going to find it out, the N2 value, this is five, okay? So now where this meets here, okay? This is how we'll have to find out, this is the value two. So my critical value comes around two here, okay? My critical value comes around two here, okay? 
So now I'm going to show it here. Okay. Right. So now uh, my critical value, where is the critical value? It is uh, five year, it is five years. So I'm going to meet here and meet here. My, this is my two here. So my critical value comes around two. So the next step is I'm going to compare these two. So how to compare this here? U calc is three and my U critical is two. I'm going to compare these two. So U cal is greater than U critical. So obviously I'm going to reject the null hypothesis at 5% level of significance, then I'm coming to a conclusion. We conclude with 95% confidence that there is a difference between means of the population. Therefore, the new drug is effective. This is how we, we will do the Mann-Whitney U test for uh, two samples here. So if you have any doubt here, just put it in the comment box so that we can clear your doubts. If you like this video, kindly uh, share it to your friends. Okay, like it and uh, just subscribe to my channel for the uh, videos to come. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day.